it's very clear to see that sub-Saharan Africa again is falling behind and the differences between the poorest and the richest countries up here is huge, probably never bigger in history. But it's also interesting to see that most countries are not poor countries in this corner anymore. And most people don't live in that uh, kind of country anymore. Most people live in middle income countries with life expectancy rates over 60, 65 years on average. In this group is where the absolutely the most of the world is. And then we have the richest countries up in that corner. Uh, has it always been like this? No, this poor corner here is only Sub-Saharan Africa today was totally different if we go back 40, 45 years. Let me now go back to the 1960. And again, remember this corner, only dark blue countries, Africa, uh, so south of Sahara, but look at 1960. Then we had the rest of the world represented in that corner. We had East Asia, we had South Asia, India, China, we had Arab states, we have Latin America. Then we could actually speak about developing countries or developed countries and developing countries. We made up the, the, the words, the first world, second world, and third world countries. And back then in 1960, maybe it made sense because then we had a huge differences between the little group here and the big group here. Developed and developing countries. And the world does not look like this anymore. So that's why we can't talk about developing and developed countries anymore because that world does not exist today. But it did exist in 1960. And now you will get 30 years of history from 1960 to 1990 in about six seconds. So keep up. You see that most countries from 1960 to 1990 moved in the right direction. They become richer, but they also become healthier. And uh, already here, most countries had a life expectancy rate over 60 years on average, and they also gained in income. Uh, Africa, south of Sahara, moved also in the right direction when it comes to health, and uh, closing up on the 50-year line here, although much slower than the rest of the world. So even during the 70s and 80s, they were falling behind, but not that much as during the 1990s. Um, so they went in the right direction. Only four countries went backwards, as I was saying, in the 1980. And now look at 1990, how the situation was totally different. And this break in the trend is very dramatic and something I don't think we have seen before. Africa is actually falling down in life expectancy, which I said was very rare. And about 20 countries fell in human development during the 1990s. And worse off is, of course, Sub-Saharan Africa because of the HIV AIDS epidemic. South Africa, you saw, fell from here to here. Botswana fell from 65 years on average down to around 35 years on average. If that is why the situation looks as it does today with only Sub-Saharan Africa in this poor corner. This graph and other presentations can be found at www.gapminder.org. Thank you very much.